This is something that I really, really hate. Really bothers me about our industry, about coaching and healing and personal growth. And I'm going to tell you what it is because I think it's time for us to elevate. Okay, are you ready? This is Margaret Lynchonary, creator of the book Tapping Into Wealth and Unblocked and the Motivation Super Skills Program. And what I love doing is training coaches so that you are out there and making a difference. But one thing that drives me crazy is this sort of pervasive extreme of beliefs that people either need a healing or a how to. And so if I can just heal them and fix them, they're good. Or I'm just going to give them a how to, and they're just going to follow all the steps and, and their dreams are going to come true. And this is a way of expecting our clients to be superhuman. Now, I love talking about superheroes, and I believe that coaches are superheroes and we can transform the world, but do not expect ourselves or our clients to be superhuman. We need more than a healing or a how-to. We need a bigger process. And so when we are trying to make a change in our life, even if it's a healing journey from where we are to where we want to be, a happier, more healthy, whole, joyful place, or if we're setting a really big goal, like I'm coming from nothing, from starting from scratch, and I want to build a big business, we don't just need a healing or a how-to. We need a container, a process, a flow. This is what coaches bring. So please stop selling yourself short and imagining that you can just do some healing or give someone a how-to. It makes me crazy, especially in the male-dominated end of the industry. It's all strategy, strategy, strategy. Is that people need help along the way. They need to be held in a process, held in the container of coaching, if you will. They need healing. They need encouragement. Yes, they need strategies and how to and steps, but then they also need to get unstuck along the way. They need breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough when they get off track, when they get stuck, when they get confused, when they get overwhelmed. They need you to hold them throughout a process all the way to a different place. And so, yes, this matters when you are talking about what you do as a coach. Don't just talk about your healing or your how-to or both. Talk about how you are also there to hold your clients through a process when they get off track, when they get stuck, when they get frozen, when they lose confidence, to keep them on track all the way to their goal. Because I here's what I want you to say. I don't expect my clients to be superhuman. I give them everything for the, so that they can be successful if they follow my stats or the work we do together. And I don't expect them to be superhuman. I expect them to be human and I will be there with them every step of the way. And this is what we, what we are doing as coaches. It's at a higher, like I want you to think about that framework level. I have a framework for coaching. I carry people through a process because there's so much more that you don't even realize you're doing as a coach and the power and the importance of that part of it, that framework, that holding, that container to keep people motivated, to keep them focused, to keep them short-term focused, to keep them in that impetus, to keep going, to keep them on track and to, and to keep coming back to it when they get off track it's a really, really important part of what you do. So hold that bigger realization, see it for yourself and talk about it when you're talking to people about your, your coaching, because again, you are going to be answering when you describe yourself that way, additionally that way, you are going to be answering some latent, some hidden, some unspoken fear that some clients have around, yeah, but I failed before. Yeah, but I got overwhelmed before. Yeah, but I got off track before. And what if that happens again? This is where we not only give a healing and maybe a how-to or one or the other or a mix of both, but we also let our clients know, I got you. I got you. And I'm going to be there for you every step of the way. We're going to be in it together. I love that. So this is what I love from what I hate to what I love. And it's really exactly what you are capable of as a coach. 
This is Margaret Lynch Mary, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.